So YouTube fams, it's me Winston. Today I'm gonna show you in this video how to turn this into this. As you can see, it looks much better. Uh, you have now five lug capability. Sorry if it's still drums, but you know I wanted to take the easy way out. <laughs> so let me show you how I did it. So let's get the obvious out of the way. Go ahead and properly jack your car and put it on jack stands, okay, making sure that the car is securely off the ground. All right. Now, if there is any, you remove the screw that holds the drum onto the brakes, and then you <coughs> remove the drake, you know, remove the brake drum, okay? Then you set that aside and you work on trying to unnotch the axle nut. If we cannot remove the axle nut, if we cannot unnotch it, stop. <laughs> you cannot do this job alone, okay? With just basic hand tools, you have to have help. Luckily for me, I was able to notch it out, okay? Without damaging the threads. If you damage the threads, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bad day for you, okay? But I was able to notch out the notch. We can just look closely here. I was able to just take a uh, screw, a sheet metal screw, a dry self-tapping screw, if you will, and it just drilled that part of the axle nut. Okay, so that's what I did. All right, then remove the axle nut, like so. You should be able to remove this, like so. Whoever did this uh, brake job last. Had a good, you know, decent sense of putting um, axle grease on on the on the shaft. So please do not lose this. Do not, I say again, do not lose that piece because that's what retains the hub onto this shaft. Okay, so please keep that with the axle nut. When in doubt, just put it back on there with the axle nut. Okay. Just ever so slight, okay? Since I am keeping my drum brake system, I am going to clean everything I can, all the nooks and crannies that I can with my trusty mineral spirits. Wow, look at that shine. Cut. Ciao. Okay, now here's the new, here's the old. As you can tell, you know, just by looking at it straightforward, it doesn't seem like there's going to be a big difference. But here's what I did notice. Now, do you see that? This is much deeper than this, okay? So the, your only obstacle is you probably might um, run into a little issue about your threads maybe being a little shorter than usual. But um, I've tried you know, researching and I've tried looking for answers here to see if it was going to be a problem and so far I have not gotten a response. So I will pretty much be your lab rat here and I'm going to be the first one to find out if this is still going to work. Okay. But so far it, you know, you don't need too much thread. You just need enough. Okay. For those rims to hang on. So my plan is I'm going to exclude this okay I'm gonna exclude it so that when I try to put this on 
it will have more threads to hang on to rather than a decreased amount of threads you know, hanging you know, ha you know holding this down because this is taking up more space okay so I'd rather just use the the width of this okay and let that hold the hub down okay it's not e even if you you know even if you put that on there without this it's still going to hold it down right because there's you know the, this is wide enough to cover you know the shaft so on this goes okay in there as best as it could okay when you're putting on the nut obviously you don't want to use this um, putting it on you have to make sure you put it on by hand first to make sure that it's not binding the threads okay and then you know messing up the threads all right so just put it on by hand for as 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 well as you can put it on there by hand and then just impact it the rest of the way. There you go. Perfect. Little spider, little spider. <laughs> uh, uh, if your car has ABS, cool because the, these um, hubs have the ABS on them already as you can see back there you see those teeth that's what the ABS sensor if you don't uh, have ABS it doesn't matter it's not gonna get in the way all right it, it it's just you know it's just there just in case you need it all right there we go whoops I almost nearly forgot you have to dry the notch in so that you don't lose your nut. There you go. Secured in place. Okay? Like so. Alright? It has to be secured so it doesn't move. As far as this goes, just go ahead and hang on to it anyway. You never know when you might need it again. Go ahead and put this cap back on. You can use a rubber mallet to hammer it in all the way. Voila! Make sure you remove the cosmoline, which is what you know prohibits the rust from forming from the brake surfaces. Primarily this and the shoes, which I did earlier. That way you have better braking uh, braking capabilities. There you go. By the way, before I forget, let's take this off real quick. There's this spring tensioner right there. You, you, you see this right there? You loosen that, okay? When you, when you loosen it, or when you rotate it, uh, let me see. You know, you, you rotate it to, to the point where this gets shorter. This will help bring this in these pads in and it'll help you fit these drums on there a little better so that you'll be able to fit you know you won't have so much difficulty because it'll adjust itself you know once you start applying your brakes okay Now, 
also it, it's important for you to note that this dr these drums are not gonna sit all the way down okay usually there would be no gap here but for some odd reason there is a gap okay and I think that's what's truly causing the threads to be shortened but there shouldn't be too much of an issue okay um, as long as you know you, your rims have enough or yeah your rims have enough thread to hang on and for the lug nuts to secure themselves onto your rims so there you have it five lug conversion on the rears still sticking to the drums uh, if you want to go this that's a whole new car that's a whole new territory I'm not gonna be able to touch that with the 10 foot pole because I wanted to do it the easy way the, the e economical way okay so with that that's all I got okay please like share subscribe today for more videos all right until then stay out of trouble crazy kids see ya bye